All right, so welcome to Monday's Metal News by FJ Chaos, Michael Gulick. Uh, this is episode four. So we're going to be talking about the new Fallujah, uh, Ryan James leaving Fallujah. We're going to talk about the new Tool teaser um, and some updates on the uh, release time frame of the new Tool album, which was supposed to be released last year, but uh, that did not happen. Uh, we're going to talk about the uh, Warp Tour, the scheduled dates, and the cities have now been released. They were just released a few hours ago. Uh, the NAM uh, happened and passed this week, Winter NAM, over on the west coast of the USA, so we'll talk about that. And we'll talk about the As LA Dying Tour with uh, Tim, who, uh, you know, he went to prison uh, for a few years, so we'll, we'll talk about that with a possible backlash. So, uh, metalheads are a, a pretty strange breed. Most uh, music fanatics, they uh, order their CDs in alphabetical order, and metalheads we usually uh, put our CDs in our cars by weight because uh, that allows us to put a, our CDs in order about how heavy they are. So. Uh, Lucia just released a music video for their upcoming album that I really enjoyed. Um, Antonio Palermo, I really like his vocals. The uh, it's kind of what you expect from Fallujah. Uh, the album is going to be released March uh, seventh, March fifteenth. They're from uh, California, so I'm, I'm really looking forward to that album. It's really hard hitting. Um, slightly melodic, and extreme metal, so I'm really looking forward to it. Alright, so on the topic of Fallujah, Brian James left Fallujah just recently. Yeah, apparently this uh, decision was based on creative divergences, and the decision was made about 10 months ago, so about March of last year. And as I said, their uh, new album comes out March of this year, March 15th. So that kind of is a weird, uh, kind of a weird segue, but um, he says that he uh, wants to stay in the music, uh, open up a recording studio, that sort of thing. Um, he wishes the guys well. So I was, I was shocked to see that Tool uh, put out a few teasers this week until I saw that they were only artwork teasers. I don't even know if the band members made that artwork. I'm just guessing, but I doubt it. Uh, so, it wasn't really much of a teaser for me. I mean, there was no music, nothing like that. I have no idea when the music is gonna come, but now we have a uh, con. We can maybe say that we have an idea, but uh, this, this was supposed to be released a year ago, six months ago, or so on. Um, but at Nam, the singer of Tool, said that the uh, album is supposed to be released in three months. So that was just a few days ago when he said that. So um, if that tells us anything, it gives us kind of a, an area of when this should be put out. He said the vocals were already complete for the album. He's about to go do some stuff with Audio Slave. Um, so this really should, you know, it should have been put out like the band member said a few months ago, or several months ago. but. Uh, I really do expect it to be put out maybe in the spring or summer, so I'm really looking forward to that. So, uh, Winter Nam happened this week, which uh, lasted a few days. Um, big realtors, uh, seven thousands of people went. Everything from uh, to Marshall Amps to Jackson Guitars, showing off the new products, things like that. So, I might discuss some of that throughout the next few months, some of the new products. Mention that Nam Warp Tour. Let's see, Warp Tour. The, uh, the tour was supposed to end last year. And now we have five new dates that were just released a few hours ago. Um, first, we have the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in Ohio, uh, Cleveland, Ohio, on June 8th. We have Atlanta City, June 29 and 30, for uh, New Jersey. And then uh, Mountain View, California. Shoreline Amphitheater on July 20th and 21st. That's what it just released, so 
it hasn't been the main lineup, uh, uh, releases or anything like that, so it's kind of, this thing is kind of, I guess, um, just being put out at the TV press, and I don't think it was very, I don't, I don't think it was, uh, organized, the release was just organized pretty well, but, uh, I hope there are some good bands. I wouldn't mind traveling to Ohio. You know, Cleveland's a four drive, but if there are some good bands and it's the summertime, I would love to go, especially at the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. So, uh, you know, let me know uh, what's, what are some of the bands that you would like to see on Warped Tour and if you, you all would go to Ohio, New Jersey, or the California one. So, um, I've, I've been talking to quite a few people and promoters and stuff like that about the Has Away Dying tour that's coming up. Uh, I believe it's March. They're playing a show in Louisville at the Tiger Room, I believe, and they've gotten a lot of backlash for Tim um, having a hitman to kill his wife. I'm sure a lot of people know that already. He went to jail for that. The person he hired was actually in the FBI. And he's he went full atheist. Uh, I guess he got addicted to steroids, and he tried to kill his wife, who was part of the Topeka Church, the first. Baptist Church, the ones that go protest uh, soldiers' funerals and stuff like that, and call uh, gay people uh, yeah, very bad names, stuff like that, saying that uh, Americans uh, going to hell, a bunch of random stuff. I, I actually think that there are a bunch of insiders, ins insiders, trying to get lawsuits. That's a different story. I'm not sure that the whole movement is completely sincere. Anyways, Tim uh, and Ezra Dying are going on tour. You know, there's a lot of backlash for uh, fan from fans saying that you know, these people, uh, this band, should not tour because of the things that Tim did. And I, I don't really agree with that. You can let me know what you think, but I I think you should be able to separate dumb actions of someone and their creations or their artwork and that sort of thing. You know, anything from uh, Faust of uh, Emperor, as many of you know, he killed a gay guy. He stabbed a gay guy. I don't know if he killed him. I know he stabbed a gay person um, a while back and everything from him to like Kevin Spacey. So, uh, apparently he's, uh, I think he's being charged with some stuff. An actor from the U.S. Um, you know, you had a um, singer from the Gargara, can't think of his name. Uh, Gull uh, from the Gargara tortured a guy. <laughs> he, uh, I think it was, he, he had crucifixes and sheep's heads and a bunch of sheep blood at a concert. And uh, he got in trouble for that because in Poland, uh, bar, he burned a bunch of churches down, killed his bandmate. Went to jail for that. You know, I still love Bar. I would love to go see another show. But you should be able to separate these two entities, I think. Uh, let me know what you think, but um, you know, that's a very hot topic. I think that Tim paid his uh, dues to society. Um, you know, uh, I'm glad it happened like it did and he didn't actually end up hiring a hitman. Ruling in his, his life forever, um, but let me know what you think and uh, check check me out next week. Um, and I'll have that collaboration song up soon with uh, Eric Ruin or Eric Johnson, Alex Ruin, uh, Terry Ruin, and uh, Tony Parker and myself. So that'll be up soon. Right, I, I just recorded Alex uh, Ruin and uh, Tony Parker's vocals today, and it's sounding really good. So. Uh, you know, continue checking out the channel and uh, let me know what you think about all these topics.